Upstairs, Goldstone and Johnson searched for the team from Shearson Lehman. Tom Hill, the cool chief strategist, and Jack Nussbaum, his lawyer, had vanished from the suite. Goldstone raced downstairs and spotted the pair in the lobby, where they had returned from a short trip to RJR headquarters with their aides. Jack, Goldstone cried, where the f*** have you been? A press release was being prepared, Goldstone explained, and Johnson badly wanted to insert the price they were considering. Without a number, Johnson feared the stock would rise out of control, perhaps forcing his group to bid more than it wanted to. They returned to the suite, where Hill repeated his earlier suggestion, $72 a share in cash and $3 a share in preferred stock. Johnson shook his head. None of that, he said. Fellows, it's got to be 75 cash. You can't put paper on the table. It looks low class. Johnson didn't need to do the arithmetic to get nervous. $17 billion. The largest corporate takeover in history. Three times greater than the largest LBO ever attempted. They hadn't seriously considered bidding much higher. With no competition in sight, there seemed no need. Johnson, as usual, won the argument. To hear this audiobook please click the link in the description it's 100% free.